Hello, I'm Ron Duker with Pyramid Archery. Today we're going to talk about the Bear Alaskan XT. This bow is a sweetheart of a bow. You've got inside, we're looking at the black model today and we're looking at 60 pounds. Now that goes anywhere from 45 pounds up to 60 pound adjustable. You can also go anywhere on the cam. You can see there's a cam lock here that enables you to go from anywhere from 25 inch draw all the way up to 30 inch draw. Adjustable just with adjusting some pins and some plates here on the top and the bottom cam. It's a binary cam system, which means you have the exact same mirror image of the cam on the top as you do on the bottom. Comes with D-loop and everything else you see here. We used a base bow and then we added on our own accessories that we'll go over in a minute. At 33 inches axle to axle and a six and a quarter brace height, you're gonna find this is very forgiving. Plus with an 80% let off, you'll see that once you have it back, it seems to be very easy to hold. Mounted to the Bear Alaskan XT, we have the G5 headlock quiver. The nice thing about this quiver that you're gonna see unique to it, with the flip of a lever, obviously you can take it on and off, but you can also adjust the positioning and lock it down in any direction that you so choose. So different hunting situations, any situation you're in, you literally don't have to worry about remounting with Allen keys or anything like that. Just put it on and take it off. Also unique with this six arrow quiver, is you've got headlock technology. What that means is if you look inside of here, you don't have your typical foam. You don't have your typical where you put a broadhead in there or a field point in there or a fixed blade or a mechanical. This handles all of them with these little grooves if you see inside of there. There's a groove for the tip of every single arrow that you put in there. And what that does when it clips on to both of these different retainers is it will hold your arrows secure without any vibration, any noise, anything going on with no matter pretty much whatever broadhead you want as long as it's not too too wide of a broadhead. With the uh, Trophy Ridge React what you're going to see here is is you have an illuminated reticle that's both fiber optic which is going to use just sunlight or you can use a battery with a little mini flashlight mounted on there. For states that you're not allowed to have that just unscrew it and remove it and you're good to go. Uh, you also have here adjustments with thumb screws that you can loosen and tighten with just your fingers. No need for Allen, that enables you to move out, out and in, meaning left and right adjustments, as well as up and down adjustments with the top one here. So when you're going through this site, what you're gonna see is you've got all four of your pins and you've got 0 0.019 inch diameter. Uh, very fine, you're gonna be able to line this up and sight it in with just about any, any game or target that you wanna hit. Also, you're gonna see a bubble level inside of here to make sure that you have the same consistent repeatability and you're not canting your bow one way or another causing a left or right shot. Trophy Ridge Stabilizer, this is the eight inch model. You're gonna see it has on the very end of it, it has one ounce rings that you can remove and adjust. So if you wanna micro tune your stabilizer, you have some sort of play there. Nice thing about this, it does come with a sling as well as this whole mounting bracket and everything is all part of the kit that you get. They call this quick, tach, or quick detach technology because with a simple turn, all you have to do is slide it out. And so if you are transporting this in a case, you can put it in and tighten it down, whether you go with six inches, eight inches, 10 inches, however long of a stabilizer you wanna go. This thing is super nice because you don't have to screw the whole thing in. It's just a couple of turns in and out. And you'll see at the very bottom of this here, there's a little circular part that's set up that nests inside of there to make sure that you are consistent with your mount every single time. It doesn't slide up or down. Trophy Ridge Propel Rest, what you're gonna see here, this is a limb driven rest and you're gonna see where it's attached to the limb with a string. So you don't have to have a bow press to set this up. The other thing unique about this specific Propel Rest is that you can mount it on the upper or lower limb depending on what your preference is. You're gonna see inside of this rest, it's a 360 degree retainment, which means that when you pop it in here, you have 360 degrees, that arrow's not sliding out. 
when you knock your arrow into your D-loop, you're gonna see two little fingers that it rests on and resides on. You can get a little bit of cant out of this. If you go too far, it'll hop off. But if you are turning your bow this far with an arrow in it, you probably did something wrong anyway. Um, so there you go, you can see it. And then when you pull back, you're gonna see immediately it's gonna start to pop up. And when I draw it here in a second, you'll be able to see it in action. So the nice thing about this rest is you have a stable platform for your arrow, both before you're shooting and while you're shooting. And you'll see with the limb driven rest, it'll slowly pull back and you'll see the flipper come up to then actually set the arrow in its final position. This has been the Bear Alaskan XT 60 pound draw. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also check out our YouTube shorts. I'm Ron Duker with Pyramid Archery. Remember to send it.